Hi guys, my name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and I just wanted to do a quick update or a follow-up to my complete review of the Fitbit Surge. So I've had a chance now to do multiple workouts with the Fitbit Surge and uh, to put it through its paces and test the accuracy of the heart rate monitor. Now I've had the chance to uh, work out with this in multiple ways, jogging, walking, weightlifting, doing a boot camp style exercise, and then comparing that data against a medical uh, heart rate monitor that you know is going to be a lot more precise than anything else that's on the market right now and determining if it's accurate or not. And what I found is that any style of workout that and you know uses much arm movement at all beyond jogging, walking or hiking, it's going to throw off the heart rate monitor considerably. And that's taking into account time to reposition the device like Fitbit uh, instructs on their website to a uh, place that's higher up on the forearm and it's not very too tight and it's not too loose and making sure that the device is uh, fit perfectly. It, I'm still getting data that's not accurate uh, in any other context except for running. So you'll see here on this graph uh, while running that the heart rate came back and it was you know, spitting back some data that seems pretty accurate here, and it was consistent with uh, my other heart rate monitors. Uh, now, this here is a boot camp style workout, and uh, my heart rate should have been through the roof. It should have been in the, you know, 160 plus for the entire workout, and it shows that it barely broke 160 at one point in the workout. Even while lifting weights, the only time that the uh, Fitbit surge was accurate was when I would stop lifting and give the device a chance to catch up. And my experience seems fairly consistent with some of the reviews we're beginning to see on Amazon.com and some of the other websites. So I would just say, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but beware if you're into a style of working out that incorporates a lot of arm movement, you may want to pass on this and consider something that has a little bit more of reliable heart rate tracking like the Mio Fuse, for example. So, uh, so I was a little bit disappointed. I don't know yet if I'm going to end up keeping this device then or having to return it, but at the very least, it's something to consider. So leave your comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Maybe some of you have had a different experience than I have. Hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this channel and then also check us out on Facebook or Twitter we have a lot of other content that I put out on the Facebook or Twitter websites that you don't necessarily see here on YouTube hey thanks again for watching we'll catch you next time